Hello! So, so in case you haven't heard, Gilmore Girls has been picked up by Netflix to do a four episode reboot special thing. It's all very exciting! And I want everyone to be able to enjoy it. And I know the seven season of 24 hour long episodes is a lot of commitment. It's a lot. So I'm going to try to recap the seven seasons. Let's see how it goes. So the series is about Lorelai and Rory Gilmore, the Gilmore girls. Um, Lorelai had Rory when she was 16. It's a big falling out point with her parents, Emily and Richard Gilmore. They're very, very wealthy, very traditional, and they want her to get married to Chris, Rory's father. Or else, or else, pretty much. But Lorelai's like, nah, I'm not into that. She doesn't want to get married young, so she just leaves, becomes independent. She completely raises Rory on her own. Uh, they live in a hotel at one point. Lorelai is a maid at the hotel and she eventually works her way up and now is, now is managing the hotel. And Rory's, so Rory's like an angel child. She's a genius and she wants to go to Harvard and study journalism. Lorelai wants her to go to this fancy prep school called Chilton, but she doesn't have any money. Lorelai has to like swallow her pride and go to her parents and ask for money for Rory's schooling. And Emily and Richard agree, but they require that Lorelai and Rory go over for Friday night dinners at their big mansion house, which is a premise. Boom. Rory and Lorelai are like best friends, even though they're mother-daughter, it's kind of their whole shtick. They um, live in a small town called Tashar's Hollow. Lorelai has best friend Suki, who's played by Melissa McCarthy. Um, they go to this coffee shop called Luke's, and Luke is the owner of the coffee shop, Luke Danes. He's like backwards, baseball cap, flannel wearing, he supplies the coffee, they need the coffee, symbiotic relationship. Let's see, so they're just living life as best friends, things happen, I'm gonna go through the boyfriends, cause drama. So Lorelai and Luke are like destined to be together, Luke's always been in love with Lorelai, but she's like, not interested. She dates a whole bunch of other people, including Rory's teacher, Max. Um, they actually can engage at one point. There's a thousand yellow daisies, but then Lorelai freaks out and calls it off. She also dates Jason, her father's business partner. Jason winds up suing Lorelai's father, and she's not into that. And then she finally gets with Luke! And eventually, she proposes to him. Feminism! Everything is well and good for like a little bit. But then we get the Dark Ages when Chris comes back into the picture. Chris swoops in and also he had a baby. He had a baby with his girlfriend Sherry. Oh man, that was like way back in season two. So he's having a hard time raising her because Sherry flees off to Paris and Lorelai offers help, but Luke and Chris have bad history. Their relationship kind of falls apart and Lorelai gives Luke an ultimatum. Lorelai's like, let's elope or let's not be together. And he says, let's not be together. And he goes and punches Chris, and it's awesome. And then we live in a post Lorelai and Luke world. And then season seven, we enter into this weird alternate reality universe where Lorelai and Chris start dating. And we're supposed to like be behind it, but I'm like, no, you're, you should be with Luke. And, and then they go to Paris and they get married on a whim. And Lorelai and Chris try to kind of be married for a while, but he doesn't fit in in Stars Hollow. Everything was just off about it and eventually they break up and that is put to rest. Oof. Oh shoot, Luke finds out he has a kid? That's like a really big part of why his and Lorelai's relationship doesn't work out at first. But anyways, Rory has three boyfriends throughout the series. Dean, Jess, and Logan. Dean sucks. Jess is the best and Logan's okay. Um, Dean is like the quintessential first boyfriend. Lorelai really likes him, everyone really likes him, but I don't really like him. He's got a bad haircut, he has no ambition, he gets really jealous, and is super protective and clingy. Blech. Then Jess comes into the picture, which is Luke's nephew. Jess, he's like the bad boy. He comes in and kind of makes Dean jealous, and then Dean ends up breaking up with Rory, even though she kissed Jess. Oh my god, she kissed Jess at Suki and Jackson's wedding. But then she gets together with Jess, and then actually he he breaks her arm via a car crash, and that's a point of contention. Jess leaves to go find his dad, who's like an absentee father. And Rory's like, what? Then Rory goes off to college. She 
was gonna go to Harvard all her life, but then she ends up going to Yale, and at Yale she meets Logan, who's like a super rich, swanky guy. But he's like, he's also like good, and he's in this life and death brigade, they jump off of a building. He's all, he's all right. Until Rory breaks the frick out. So she gets this internship at Logan's dad's company, and then he crushes all her dreams and says, you're never gonna be a journalist. And then everything goes berserk. Rory steals a yacht with Logan, and they get arrested, and she drops out of Yale. And Lorelai's all like there for her until she drops out of Yale, and then she's like, girl, that's not okay. Thus begins the biggest fight of Lorelai and Rory. They don't talk for almost an entire season, and it's super odd. Um, so that's kind of like a weird season, season six. And eventually, Lorelai and Rory talk again. Rory goes back to Yale, she breaks up with Logan, then gets back together with Logan. Then way later, he proposes to Rory. It's really awkward, because Rory's like, uh, uh, I don't know. And then after her graduation, Rory goes up to Logan and says she can't, and then they break up. Oh, and by the way, this whole time, Jess has gotten cool. He matured, he wrote a book, he owns like a small publishing house. She should be with Jess. Emily and Richard break up for a while. Like the grandparents. And then, so Lorelai's still all alone and Luke is still all alone. They're very unhappy. And then one day, Luke wears the hat that Lorelai gave to him once. And it's like a sign. She goes to karaoke and sings I Will Always Love You as Luke walks in and she's singing it basically to him. It's very emotion. And Rory is like setting out for life on her own post Logan. She's kind of sad but also is excited to start in the real world. In the last episode they have to like send Rory off and Luke does this really sweet thing for Lorelai and throws a huge goodbye party with the whole town. And Lorelai is like oh my gosh this party is really great. And Suki's like Luke did it for you. And then she goes over to Luke, and Luke drops what he's holding, and then they kiss, and it's happily ever after. Or so we're led to believe. Netflix, please confirm Luke and Lorelai are still together. Also Team Jess. And there's a whole bunch of wacky town characters. Kirk, who's like the town weirdo. Bad Bat and Miss Patty. And Lane, Rory's childhood best friend. And Suki and Jackson are just popping out babies throughout the series. And Paris, Rory's frenemy turned best friend, and Taylor Dozy, who's like the mayor of the whole goddamn place. It's dramatic, it's funny, it's heartwarming, it's so smart and clever, and ah, it's so good! You know what? You should probably just watch it. If you're up on the road, follow me when. Do, do, do.